Alright, good day. I want to welcome you to my channel. It's our first video, and today we're going to talk about rabbits. It's my first time doing one of these channels, my first time doing one of these videos. So I hope that you guys will appreciate the knowledge that we have to share with you, and hoping that you would feel like you're a part of or set up here, a part of our family. Now over here, I have my rabbit set up. We have a 12 foot cage, it's a 12 foot hutch with four sections. Each of them are three by three. And I have in here three, well, two adults. There's Moon. I keep her water in a bowl because that's a little bit more comfortable for her. And her food over here. Good morning. Over here we have Fuzzy. Don't know why he's named Fuzzy. But that's his name. We have one of those drip waters for him. It's not the best. I'll soon be transitioning to a bowl. I realize that the rabbits are a lot more comfortable with the bowls. And over here we have Star. This one belongs to my eldest son. She's only three months old and already nearly the same size as our buck. She's going to be our new breeding female. I have done these um, custom jobs for the feeders. I could feed them directly through the outside here and it goes down into the other side. And here we have the kits, all nine of them doing well. We have the same setup here. It's a inch and a half PVC. And we use these um, caps and we pour the feed down in there and it goes all the way across. They're happy little bunnies, but they eat a lot. They already got fed today. One cup, two cups of feed for the babies because there's a lot of them. They're already hungry. Well, I'm sorry guys. You're not getting any more feed right now. All of these bunnies are about to leave us today they're going over to new owners you know they're only about five weeks old but they're they're very much ready to go you can see they're enjoying life there's one sitting in the food bowl they're good And it's breeding day so today we're going to get to see a new crossing between moon and fuzzy now moon has just um she's just been separated from her kids for about a week and she looks kind of frisky right now i think she knows what's gonna happen and we're gonna move her across to fuzzy's section because you always move the dough from her cage into the males and there are several reasons for that but the main one is if you don't move the dough across to 
the box cage she's going to well he's if you move him into her cage he's going to spend a lot of time smelling around her cage and being distracted by the new area but if you move her into his area then he's going to get straight down to business and that's what we're looking for so we're going to take her now come here yes we're going to bring it to his area and let's see them get down to business And there we have our first fall off. And that's what happens. That's it. We're going to be looking for about three of those. And that will ensure that we have a successful breeding. There you have your second fall off. Now all we need is one more. And that's it. That was the final crossing. Over here we have peppermint and parsley and in between I have a few ginger plants. This was supposed to be a temporary arrangement where I cut a barrel in half lengthwise and I planted peppers in one and these peppers got really badly attacked by slugs but I seem to have taken care of the slug problem, so they are making a comeback. We have a couple pineapples, two different pineapples in here. See this one right here? They're actually doing quite nicely. And um, some chives, some more peppermint in between, and nice ginger growing right in the middle. Now, I did not plant this, but it decided to grow in the yard. It's uh, what, like, what we call here big lift time. Actually very nice with um, meat. So if you're cooking meat, it has a really, really nice scent. It's very aromatic. Something that uh, I love to put in food. Now over here is my temporary setup for my plants that I got over the weekend and I kind of forgot about them so we have two plantains two plantain plants and one banana and it's a banana plant that I had in my old residence it's pretty nice um, it doesn't grow very tall and makes very very big bunches and here we have the little garden we got a few things in here this is a sour sub plant right here um, this one has to be transplanted into the soil we got some kale 
young kill trying to come up it's not doing too badly at all we have cabbage cabbage is looking good these got planted last week and we have corn now I have to get a few more corn plants because my puppy decided that it wanted to sleep in the in the vegetable beds so it destroyed some of the corn but this is our setup and we plan on extending this by adding a few more drums and a few other things here we have all my little seedlings coming up very nicely I have some melons the seeds here I collected from a, a good while back um, they're very large seeds so I expect very large melons um, right there are some seeds that we will um, we picked up from some melons that we ate the other day over here I have a few sorrel seeds these sorrels are quite old the seeds are old and um, we saved them from last year because these seeds supposedly grow year round. We harvested some of these seeds around um, May last year. Yeah, so it's about a year old. And then we have some celery in here that hasn't sprouted yet. And some peppers which should have sprouted, we're not sure. My jalapenos seem to be sprouting finally. But that's perfect. Over here, we have some cucumbers which are coming up, some basil, some chives, and next to it, here, we have parsley, which seems to be sprouting, so we're not doing too badly. Yesterday, a guy came over and he was supposed to have taken two kits but he decided he wanted four so now we're only left with five kits now this one that's Meredith and doesn't go anywhere this is our rabbit it's a male and we're gonna be keeping him this one is going to be traded for a white no that's great um these two well, these three I may keep, but I think somebody somebody already requested one of them. Um, I think that's the female here. And um, the other two I might keep as meat rabbits. Okay, thank you for joining us today in our first episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content and leave a comment. Anything that you need to know, any information that you'd like to ask, you can go ahead and ask us in the comments. We'll be very happy to answer. Thank you. See you soon.